The calmness of the sea calls to you in tonight's sleep story for grown-ups. You are listening to Caravan by the Sea, a cozy bedtime story that brings us to Assateague Island, where wild horses run free, and the quietude of the pristine national seashore helps you slow down and unwind. Spend the afternoon on a misty beach with your beloved pup, as the tide goes out and sand crabs scatter, a steady wind clears the skies at sunset as you walk above the undulating dunes to watch it lower beyond the marshes where wild horses graze. Night brings a beach bonfire before you return to your custom caravan and fall asleep to the sounds of the surf in this secluded oasis beneath a heavenly sky. It's time to dream away. Welcome to Michelle's Sanctuary. I am Michelle, and of all the stories out there to help you fall asleep, I'm so grateful you chose this one. Get cozy in the sanctuary of your room and mind, as I guide you like a trusted friend. You've made it through another day, and this time is rightfully yours for restoration and peace as you drift across the divide between wakefulness and sleep. Customize details however you like, as the story takes on the fluidity of a dream. Feel free to fall asleep whenever you want, as you've more than earned it. Let's enjoy a few relaxing breaths together as we set the tone for tonight's sleepy journey. Imagine your room becomes misty with a hint of the rich perfume of the Atlantic Ocean and the sweet brackish waters of a bay. Moonlight pours over you as you let out a sigh, seeing yourself surrounded by the nocturnal beauty of sand dunes and glittering waves. Inhale slowly through your nose as you take in the richness of the ocean breeze against your face, transported instantly into a state of ease where nothing beyond this moment matters. Immersed fully in your quest for relaxation, you may yawn at the top of your breath and let it flow out into another sigh. Every choice you make enhances your sense of sleepiness and comfort as you embark on a mental holiday. Allow two more rounds of conscious breaths to help you settle further. Let each breath become slower and deeper, bringing a release of tension in the deepest knots and places of holding in your muscles. Each exhale in a sigh replicates the sound of the surf, of waves easily crashing against a sandy shore. As your chest expands and contracts, you become more grounded in the sacred time just for you. Whenever you feel ready, let your body retain control of each sleepy breath, freeing your mind as it prepares for the adventures about to unfold. It's time for the story to begin. Sometimes the forces of nature bring both destruction and unforeseen blessings opening the door to new possibilities. Not always its own island, Assateague Island, now a protected oasis, was once connected to the popular Fenwick Island until the great storm of 1933 created an inlet, dividing the land into two. Assateague Island is a barrier island that now runs 37 miles long. 
jetties were put up to support this breach in 1933, as it gave instant access between the Atlantic Ocean and the rich Sinopuxent Bay. For centuries, Assateague Island has offered a place of refuge, rife with natural resources, where humankind learned to live in harmony with its bountiful gifts from both land and sea. And while the temptation in modern times may be to overdevelop land for resorts, in 1965, the island received status as a national seashore, allowing it to remain an untouched paradise of bucolic beauty. The act of preservation ensured that its wild landscapes would remain unspoiled. Here, the ocean meets the sky, and the salt-kissed air mingles with the scent of pine as wild horses roam freely. The descendants of settlers' steeds, the horses have evolved, becoming shorter and more stout to survive in the limited vegetation on the island. Sometimes they are corralled by sea cowboys, but often left to roam freely. They represent the untamed spirit of the island, in a place that offers solitude and reflection and secret nooks to be enjoyed in even the busiest of summer seasons. You arrive on the island on a day in August, soon made aware of the mysterious shifts in weather that can occur on a cloudy afternoon. Having parked your caravan along a campsite with ocean views, you spend the afternoon roaming the beach. The silvery underbellies of low-lying clouds have kept the crowds away, and you revel in the soft music of the surf as you wander along the dunes with your beloved dog. One of few beach escapes that allow pups to come along throughout the summer. You deeply appreciate the chance to share this beauty with your best furry companion. The moodiness of the sky offers a contrast that enhances the rich, otherworldly greens of the beach grass that billows like emerald feathers. Every now and then, you spot a chestnut brown and white pony wandering the dunes. You follow the tracks of a sandpiper. Their tiny starfish-like prints seem even smaller when compared to the paw prints left by your dog. Cool, lacy sea foam scatters the shore as gentle waves cascade over your bare toes with a surprisingly cold bite deep into what has been a hot summer season. The currents have changed, and the once tepid waters have become a cool reminder of the nearness of autumn. Yet the air remains humid and warm. The intense sun may still be felt through the blanket of clouds as a mist rolls in. You find a place to settle on the wide open beach sitting on a pillow of sand as your dog begins fervently digging alongside you. They bury their nose into the wet grains of coarse sand, sniffing at something wild that manages to burrow faster than they can dig. Your dog raises its eyes to meet yours. With a pink tongue hanging out in total bliss as you brush away sand from its muzzle and eyelashes. 
Your efforts are in vain. As minutes later, they dig even deeper, before eventually settling down for a nap in their cool, damp sand den. You look to the sky, seeing the formations of clouds as the ethereal mist shrouds the beach, bringing a dreamlike quality to this enchanting moment. You inhale deeply, feeling the tiny droplets in your nose and the cool, salty air as it warms in your nostrils before arriving in your lungs. As your pup begins to snore, you watch crabs come to the surface and scuttle a safe distance from you, more curious about your sleeping pet than you. You get lost in the hypnotic waves, seeing a sandbar not too far out from the edge of the outgoing tide. As you turn to the south, you watch as three horses emerge from the mist. Their manes sparkle with fine droplets of water as white gold sunlight breaks through the clouds. The island comes to life, Awakening in the promise of sunlight. After a day where time was indiscernible in the gray and silver cloak of clouds and mist, the air becomes warmer with a change in it as the mist begins to stir and clear, pushed by the breath of a persistent wind. You rise quietly and stretch your arms overhead, grateful to have stayed, despite the forecast that called for a threat of rain that never arrived. Somehow, you intuitively knew the day would unfold as it has. Your dog stretches and yawns beside you, ready to take on a new adventure. The mist, once thick and unyielding, continues to thin, the wind growing stronger, carrying with it the scent of salt and sea. It teases the edges of the island, lifting the veil that has kept the world hidden for the final hours of afternoon to reveal the beautiful landscape in soft, hazy hues. And just as quickly as the wind rolls in, it dies down and almost disappears, but not before sweeping the clouds out over the Atlantic and revealing a pale, delicate blue sky that deepens into a bright blue as the sun lowers toward the horizon. The thin veil of mist that covered your face and skin evaporates quickly in the warm, golden sunlight. The tide is at its lowest and the silky glistening wet sand reveals a tapestry of broken shells in its absence. Your dog sniffs at a horseshoe crab discovered in a tidal pool. The species appeared over 200 million years before dinosaurs and its prehistoric helmet shape is quite telling. It's Telson, or its slender black tail, takes back and forth in the water, like the pendulum bar of a metronome. 
The horseshoe crab keeps time in its own way. Considered by many to be a living fossil, for it looks and behaves much the same as it did hundreds of millions of years ago. The waves lap gently at the shore, their sound a constant soothing rhythm that lulls you into a peaceful state of mind and causes your heart rate to remain quite slow once your pup's curiosity over the horseshoe crab is satiated they bound ahead nose to the ground following the trails of unseen creatures that lurk in tunnels that form bubbles in the wet sand the beach stretches out before you like a carpet of pale sand meeting the deep blue of the ocean. With the skies now clear, you decide to leave the shoreline to enjoy the sunset in the west, overlooking the bay. Your pup sprints and you follow, feeling strength and energy course through your legs as you aim to keep up. Your lungs take in the salt water air with vigor as you laugh and smile during this impromptu dash to the wooden boardwalk that goes for an eighth of a mile over the dunes. Your pup slows at the base of the weathered wooden stairs, turning to connect with you where the dunes rise and fall in gentle undulations of soft sand dotted with tufts of seagrass that sway and whisper in the breeze. The dunes are a world unto themselves, quiet and still, yet full of life. Monarch butterflies flutter in the sunlight, hovering over the delicate pink blossoms of beach roses. Seagulls call to one another as they soar above, preparing for their twilight feast. Sandpipers sing in their soprano tones. Their choruses are carried on the wind with the susurrations of the tendrils of grass firmly anchored in the shifting sands. As you pass over the last rising dune, you come upon an empty parking lot and a silver ribbon of asphalt that winds through the national seashore and park. It sparkles in the sunlight, a path laid down by human hands, yet it feels strangely natural here as a horse crosses freely. There are no cars to be seen, no sign of the outside world intruding upon this moment of solitude. The road lies empty and still as you cross it with your dog by your side. The island is so narrow, it takes mere moments to reach the bayside. The rich amber sunlight turns the dunes and grasses into an opulent patchwork of gold and green. The sky above is a canvas of ever-changing colors, the blue deepening into a rich indigo with the first hints of sunset already beginning to show at the edges of the horizon. 
the bay comes into view. A vast expanse of water that stretches out wide to meet the sky, the two merging in a seamless blend of color and light. A few other fellow visitors staying at the campsites are in the distance holding binoculars tightly to their faces as they investigate and simply observe the marsh. You pause for a moment, taking in the scene before you. The water is still, its surface like glass, reflecting the sky in perfect detail. The grasses that line the shore are tall and straight, their tips catching the light as they dance in the breeze. You feel grateful that the winds have cleared the sky, and mist, and have also served to keep the bugs away. You settle on a white pebbled area among shrub communities, with your dog close as the sun continues its descent. The colors in the sky intensify, shifting and blending into bands of crimson and magenta that stretch across the horizon like strokes of watercolor on a canvas. The edges of these rich colors transform into shades of gold, lavender, and peach, the clouds once thick and heavy, have returned as delicate pink and lavender wisps, reminiscent of cotton candy, strewn across the sky. They catch the dwindling sunlight, glowing with a soft, ethereal radiance as they drift lazily overhead and their reflections ripple across the water below. The marsh, with its still pools and tall grasses and evergreen shrub communities, is bathed in the warm, golden light of the setting sun. A dozen nearby wild horses lazily graze, their chestnut coats glowing with a rich, warm hue in the fading light. Their heads dip down to the ground in search of the tender shoots that grow along the water's edge. Your pup sniffs the air, rich with the smell of marine life and the horses that only get closer. But your pet settles, staying curious yet calm as the horses approach. The scene is peaceful, a moment of pure and spoiled beauty that feels suspended in time. The air is filled with the scent of salt and sea that mingles with the sweet earthy aroma of the marsh. The only sounds are the soft rustling of the grasses, the occasional snort of the horses, and the rhythmic lap of the water against the shore. The breeze remains calm, now a mere whisper that brushes against your skin, carrying with it the last warmth of the day. The colors in the sky continue to shift and change, growing deeper and more intense as you can count the seconds before the sun is fully gone. The bands of color seem to pulse with life. 
the sky ablaze with shades of red, purple, gold, and orange. The world glows with an inner warmth, and you feel the smallest ache of longing for time to freeze, for this moment to last a while longer. Days like these are the kinds we all wish we could hold in our hands, savoring them again and again, all the while knowing that the contrast of less amazing days is necessary for these perfect moments to feel perfect at all. Your dog curls up beside you, their excitement giving way to peaceful drowsiness. The longer you sit, the more the world around you seems to fade into a serene, almost hypnotic rhythm. The waves, gentle and constant, Soothe your mind as the last golden light on the bay disappears. Your gaze drifts to a sandbar, not too far out from the edge of the outgoing tide, where the water is shallow and clear. The sandbar, with its soft golden sand, retains the hoofprints of nearby horses. It looks almost like an extension of the shore, one of many secret places to explore on the island. The noise and bustle to the north. In tourist towns along the coast of Delaware and Maryland is non-existent in this quiet paradise. In this place where nature may be honored and enjoyed. As the darker blues of twilight move in, you rise, ready to return to the campsite, eager to enjoy a meal and a bonfire overlooking the Atlantic. You and your pup pass by a series of tents and campers that were willing to stay, despite the wrong weather reports, for rain and storms. Like you, they appreciate the quietude, yet still give a friendly wave or knowing nod when they see you pass. You follow along a wooden gate that leads to a quiet, sandy lot where your custom caravan awaits. The world around you is bathed in soft, silvery twilight, the stars beginning to twinkle overhead, their light reflecting off the dunes and cresting sapphire waves. The moon rises over the ocean as you open the doors to your recently renovated caravan. The interior is decked out with wooden flooring, the shade of sand, with customized ivory cabinets and hidden spots to store things and walls with sea green and turquoise accents. A mason jar of collected shells and sea glass sits on the countertop next to a glass canister of dog food that your pup notices immediately upon entering. You dish out a serving in a ceramic cobalt blue dog bowl and then watch them feast on the kibble, taking laps of water in between from a stainless steel bowl on the floor. 
The interior has coastal allure, with soft chairs and a bench that all transform into places to sleep, should you have guests. Dried eucalyptus and sage hang from twine in the kitchen. Their aromas mingling with a salt water breeze that comes through the screened windows, circulating with a soothing freshness. You enjoy a quick and easy bite to eat and a cool, refreshing drink, not realizing how famished and thirsty you were until now. You gather a lightweight hoodie from a closet and then your dog to return to the beach for a bonfire. You take a pail of firewood and lighter carefully stowed in a compartment outside the caravan and trek back the sandy path to the beach. Along the way, horses seem to trail behind you en route to the sand where they habitually roam when the typical crowds leave after sunset. You keep a respectful distance from them as you find a spot and position the logs and kindling to start your fire. The sea breeze helps fan the flames that quickly take hold of the dry, splintered wood. Stars twinkle in the clear, midnight blue sky as a waxing gibbous moon rises higher. Orange gold sparks fly toward the sky and the crackles and pops add to the infinite soundtrack of the ocean. Your dog curls at your feet once more as you watch the flames dance, peering down the island to see the flickering light of bonfires to the south. Every now and then you stoke the fire as you lose time, as you lose yourself in the magic of the night, the same magic that existed on this land long before you arrived. But all that matters is you get to be here right now. One of many souls that got to enjoy the beauty of Asatik. You stay long after the flames become embers. Long after your pup has resumed a second round of snoring on the beach. And long after the first series of yawns hit you. But as a heavy wave of drowsiness arrives, you surrender to the inevitable and rise. You walk to the ocean to fill the pail with seawater to douse on the remaining glowing embers, bidding good night to the Atlantic, to your bonfire. You gather the remnants of charred wood and place them in the pail. Your pup stirs and follows sleepily behind you as you guide them to the campsite. The night wraps around you like a cool, velvety cloak as you make your way back to your caravan. Your feet press into the still warm sand, crunching along to the fading sound of the surf. Your dog trots alongside you, tail wagging, eager to return home. 
Although you know, to them, home is anywhere that you are. The caravan waits on the other side of the dunes. A cozy haven with an ambient glow set against the wild beauty of the island. You take your pup to a nearby outdoor shower as cool water sprays out of the spigot in a gentle arc and you rinse the sand off your pup. The water splashes against their fur, droplets sparkling in the moonlight, and your dog wiggles happily. The night air is filled with the earthy, clean scent of wet fur, mingling with the faint brine of the sea. Whence clean, your dog races you up the steps of the caravan, stopped by you as you open the door and grab a plush towel to dry them off. You then enter the caravan and walk to the cozy bathroom as your dog settles on the bathroom floor, the towel beneath them as they curl up in a ball. Their eyes grow heavy in a second, lulled by the warmth and security of the moment. You smile down at them, your furry protector, so grateful for their company and standing watch. The bathroom is aglow with the soft hues of moonlight pouring through the aquamarine and light purple stained glass privacy window. The colors dance on the walls, shifting and blending like the night reflections of water in a pool. You turn on the shower and step into it to feel the coolness of the marine blue tiles beneath your feet. The water cascades over you, lukewarm and comforting, washing away the day's adventures in a steady, gentle stream. The water is silky against your skin a rich lather of your favorite soap fills the air with its calming scent. You look beyond the stream of water through the skylights to take in the moon and stars. As you rinse off, you marvel at how the last of the sun's warmth still radiates through you gentle reminder of the final sun-soaked hour of the day. The water splashes against your shoulders and you close your eyes and lean into it, savoring the sensation of the lingering heat melting away beneath the cool night breeze that slips through the open window. The circulating air carries with it the fresh, crisp scent of the ocean mingling with your redolent soap, creating a heady, intoxicating blend. You turn off the water and step out of the shower the air is cool and tingling against your damp skin. You wrap in a fresh towel as your pup stirs and licks water droplets from your toes. You change into your favorite pajamas, reserved just for nights like this, spent camping beneath the stars. The fleece fabric is soft and worn, 
familiar against your skin. And as you slide into the long sleeves and pants, you look forward to the cool night ahead, perfect for sleeping as the fabric keeps you toasty and warm. You walk into the private bedroom in the back of the caravan. The queen-size bed is centered beneath a thick glass ceiling that reveals the sky above, the stars and moon a sparkling canopy overhead. The air is cooler in here the ocean breeze circulating through the windows in each wall, refreshing and clean, the ideal temperature for sleep. The duvet is plush and inviting, a soft cloud of comfort that beckons you to hide beneath its folds. Your dog jumps onto the bed, curling into a tight ball at the foot of the duvet. They're breathing slowing as they find their spot for the night. You climb into the center of the bed, the cool sheets brushing against your skin, and rest your head on the pillows. The room has an airy, coastal feel, decorated with black and white photos of you on various beaches, snapshots of days as perfect as today, captured in time. As you gaze up at the sky through the glass ceiling, you wonder if Asatik might be your new favorite beach. Its untamed beauty and wild spirit are unmatched. The ocean breeze continuously drifts through the room, caressing your face with its coolness. You close your eyes Letting the sensations of the night wash over you. The gentle rise and fall of your dog's breathing at your feet. The softness of the pillows cradling your head. The coolness of the sheets against your cheek. And the steady rhythm of the waves outside. You surrender to the magic of this acetique night. Its wild beauty seeping into your soul, guiding you into a deep, restful sleep. The island's untamed spirit dances through your mind to inspire your dreams. The horses, the waves, the sky. The commitment to keeping this island pristine I'll give you hope as you fade into the gentle embrace of slumber, finding enchantment, finding comfort, finding sleep. It's time to dream away. <laughs>